Right guys, I'm back quicker than I thought it would be. There was just something bugging and eating away at me because of my last video, Code 11. So if you've if you watched that, brilliant. Thank you for the love and support. If you've not, maybe you want to watch it before you get this. It's not essential, but it puts you in the picture and the frame of mind to what I'm going to show you. So if you remember, in that the Code 11, it was also talking about the fine constant structure and its name instead of saying that all the time they just basically called it alpha and i showed you that alpha was another 11. as you can see on the screen and i'm gonna highlight it just in case you can't see is basically in written form alpha the lower case and from doing the research something was eating away at me i know that that looks like something else now if you can get it straight away brilliant you would like me <laughs> in the sense of you saw that pattern straight away but if you still know it don't type it watch the full video let's see if you were right and other people join me on the journey and let's see if you can understand why i'm blown away about its connection to what it is so remember it was alpha basically it was part of the grand theory of everything it's basically the judge the jury everything sounds like god right so it's important alpha the first so and obviously it is 38 in Gematria adds to 11. So that got me automatically thinking of Alpha and Omega. See, in Christianity, the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet used to designate the comprehensiveness of God, implying that God includes all that can be. In the New Testament, Revelation to John, the term is used as a self-designation of God and Christ. So at the bottom you have, together with Hebrew Aleph, Greek Alpha and Latin A is a descendant from the Phoenician Aleph from reconstructed proto Canaanite Alp and Ox. So, this is where the journey begins. Be 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 it begins. So, obviously, you have the Alpha and the Omega link. And obviously, when I was just quickly researching for this video, this came up on the screen and something caught my eye. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And then it shows you what you see. So C caught my mind because I was talking about things being hidden in plain sight in the last video, if you remember. And I thought, could hidden in plain sight be in... Obviously, I was talking about the eyes and all the connection to the 11s. But I was talking about how everything is hidden in, in plain sight until we see it. And it's an 11. And I went, wow. And I thought, again... How we see this realm. Oh, C. 2 and 9 equals an 11. And automatically, when you start thinking of C, you think of the Vatican's other name, the Holy See. And by pure chance or coincidence, when was the Holy See created? Oh, February the 11th. Whoops. And that got me to thinking of a video I didn't include in Code 11. It was something I titled, I think I found God's name. And it was connected to the, obviously, the Aleph. And I'm going to include that before I get to the answer to that question I was telling you on what that symbol could be. So you've just saw God is Aleph, been associated with Aleph and the Omega, like Yalos. And here's what I found in an old clip, in an old video. It, some could say it's a stretch. But this is just how I work. So here goes, guys. The name is El Evan. And I know what some of you are thinking. Wait, I've watched this video for you to tell me a God's name is El Evan. But there's more. Yes and no. I believe it's being hidden in plain sight. Phonetics is the clue. So start getting your brain working. The Phoenicians, a Semitic speaking people, we've all heard of them, created the first phonetic alphabet. Guess when? In the 11th century. That's just a pure coincidence. Why the 11? Hmm. So quiz time. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What is the first letter of the Phoenician alphabet? I'll give you a few seconds and a countdown. 
99% of you would already get it. The answer, how you spell it is Aleph, because it can be spelt so many times, Aleph. So there you go. So I felt inspired to search how many times Aleph or Aleph Taf appears in the Bible. Now we just typed in Aleph. And this is what it gave me. Aleph Tav appears 9,612 times uninterpreted the Peters in the Old Testament, but only 983 times in the New Testament. So when it couldn't, could it? It couldn't, could it? So let's add those numbers. The Aleph is written in the Bible. 9,612 add 983 is, well, as you can see on screen, 38. So 9 add 6, add 1, add 2, add 9, add 8, add 3 is 38. That 38 is another 11. 3 add 8 is 11. So you're telling me the left, the beginning and the end, adds to 11, and it, that's how many times it appears in the Bible. I was blown away because, and this is where you're just going to go, Oh my God. So now you see what I've just showed you. Let's change phonetically 11 to 11. <laughs> Aleph. Instead of 11, I've just showed you Aleph mentions L. A, A, L is E, L also. So you can do this phonetically. Do it at home. 11. Aleph and eleven. So you just saw that old video showing you that could God's name be Aleffen? <laughs> and I didn't put it into the code eleven because I was getting to that point where I think too much information was in that video. So I kept it back and I'm glad I did because it fits lovely into this video that I'm trying to get at. What is that symbol at the beginning that I showed you and how is it could it be connected to the Alpha or the Aleph? which, as you, as you can see, means God and God and oneness. So, you will have that symbol. And also, what you see on the screen now is the Alpha and the Omega, and the Alpha is inside the Omega. And that, to me, was a... a, a well, I can't call it coincidence anymore. It's describing and showing what I believe that symbol is. And you'll see, I'll put this again at the end and say, is it that? So... I'll, ch I'll say what, I'll be fair to you guys, I'll change the symbol, the alpha symbol, and I'll put it on it slightly on its side, and slightly elongated, and you can see it on the screen now. Come on, what symbol, and it's tied to religion, because obviously that's why I've showed you all what I've showed you so far, what is it? And I'll morph it, here's the last clue, I'll morph it, and I'm morphing it into a fish. So, is that alpha? The mathematical symbol, basically, of everything. Is it God? And is that what they did? They hid it in plain sight. They hid the mathematical equation of alpha into the fish symbol. To me, it is. I'm blown away. And that is what... <laughs> it's got me it's just so excited. I mean, what do you think, guys? Do you think I'm... Is it Paradiola? I'm seeing things... Or can you see what I'm trying to get at? That, that alpha symbol has morphed into this symbol for God on Jesus. Now, that symbol on the screen, what you're seeing, is known as the Ichfest. I mean, in Gematria, it accidentally adds to, you got it, an 11. <laughs> but, like I said, it's known as the fish symbol. Fish symbol in Gematria adds to, you got it, 11. That's just a coincidence, that, Paul. We see it everywhere. So some people will say it's Christ. Again, another 11 in Gematria. But some will say, no, it's Jesus. Oh, Jesus as to 11 in Gematria. Are we seeing a pattern here? <laughs> so obviously some will say, yeah, there you go. There's the description, the sign of the fish, Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Saviour. And uh, Carl Jung said this, and this is what un inspired me also. The fish was used as a name for the God who became man. So, again, I'm going to ask now, I'm going to finish. Is that a left, the alpha symbol? Could that be the fish symbol morphed and changed? 
what say you guys <laughs> i know some will say i'm nuts and it's a stretch but that's just what i do i enjoy it it excites me and again i nearly forgot what does that alpha in the omega remind you of and to me it was a fish in a bowl <laughs> in a fish bowl <laughs> that's what i just see anyway let's finish now so if you if you obviously like the video please like share and subscribe if you want to help me more it does i do appreciate it and i do get uh, emotional about it you can buy me a coffee and the barcode and the link will be in the description so guys there's a quick short video on hidden in plain sight and that was in reference to was the alpha symbol became the fish symbol or vice versa what say ye